How was your day today? Yeah? How are you feeling? Are you telling me the truth? Sometimes I can't tell with you. You're too good at hiding your feelings. You know that, right? <laughs> Come sit with me. No, please. Please come sit with me. You're not in trouble, I promise. I promise. Just come come hang out with me for a minute. <laughs> Baby, how are you really feeling? Yeah. If I'm completely honest, I've been, um, I've been a little concerned, but it, it's concern out of love and out of compassion for you and not judgment. Ultimately, you're going to do what you're going to do and I love you regardless. This is your journey and I'm just walking it with you, right? Just like you're walking with me through mine. I guess I've noticed a few things with you lately that naturally kind of pique my interest. I know how much time we spend together and In our time together, I've grown to be able to read you pretty well. <laughs> and I know when you're treating yourself well, and I know when you're putting yourself on the back burner. And unfortunately, I feel like you're leaning towards the latter right now. I understand, I, I know, see, that's the thing, is that I know life is wild right now and uncertain and there's a lot of confusion and tension and um, sadness and isolation right now out there. I'm so glad that you're in my bubble. I'm so thankful for you. But I know that during these hard times it's easy to lose sight of what what's most important in some cases yeah maybe it'll become clearer but in others in terms of maybe you taking care of yourself I know that it hasn't been your main priority I know baby I know it's not something you do on purpose believe me if anyone gets it I get it do you remember when I told you about my depression when I was a teenager, when I was completely untreated. I was unmedicated. I was misunderstood and I felt trapped. And my coping skills were substance abuse, self-harm, sugar, food, and um, I wasn't taking care of myself back then. Ten years later, obviously I'm doing better. But it makes me more sensitive when I see people, especially people I love like you, that might be kind of slipping off track. I know when I slip off track. You notice too, right? Mm-hmm. It can be things as simple as not showering enough, not taking your vitamins or your medication if you have any, not eating well or enough or eating too much, not being hydrated, good sleep, fresh air and sunshine, exercise if you're going to roll that way, 
all of those little things, you know, nurturing your soul too, doing things that make you happy and that are fun and light that fire in you, no matter what it may be. Video games, I know anime does that for a lot of people, certain shows, art, music. Darling, look at me. <laughs> I love your eyes. I want you to be the best you that you can be. And I want you to love yourself enough to take care of you first. Lately, I guess, um... I notice you're not treating your body very well. You're not doing what you need to to keep yourself healthy, happy, and safe. I understand. And I'm I'm not I'm not calling you out at all, believe me. I'm saying this because The fact that I noticed shows how much I care. When I was in my dark moments and I wasn't showering, I wasn't eating, I was hurting myself, I was going days without sleep, I wasn't working towards anything, I wasn't doing anything that made me happy besides, you know, drugs <laughs> and I know you're not not necessarily in that position I mean I don't know everything about you but I wish I had had somebody to pull me aside and say hey I can see you're not okay and I want to help you and that's where I'm at I can see that my baby's not okay, and I want to help you. I don't know how, but I want to talk to you about it, you know? I love you too, more than you know. You deserve to feel loved. And you deserve to know that you're worthy. You're enough as you are. Even in these moments where maybe you're not putting yourself first, you're still enough. It's not a shortcoming or a flaw. It's just something that sometimes people do. We're human. I'm very good at putting others before myself and sometimes it's at my own detriment. And I don't want you to go through that, you know? You're a beautiful person. And you're a soul within a shell. And you gotta take care of your shell and your soul. You take care of your soul by being honest with me about things, letting me love you. Accepting affection, accepting joy, finding fun and laughter in life, growth. You nurture your body by, like I said, eating well, sleeping. Take your medication, you know. Maybe you need to start your counseling again, baby. God knows what the situation in the world right now. I needed to restart mine. My own urges to self-harm have been very strong. And that tells me that a lot of other people's probably are too. I know you don't really like to talk about that and we don't have to. I don't know if that's something you've really experienced in your life, but...
you deserve to be well. You deserve to feel safe. You deserve to nurture yourself. There is nothing more important than you in your own life. And it sounds selfish, but it's not. Okay, baby, it's not. If you don't choose you, nobody will. And I love you so dearly. And I want you to know, in love, that nobody is coming to save you. And that's a hard pill to swallow a lot of the time. Believe me, I know. I waited for years for someone to save me, to take me out of my dysfunctional home that I was in, my dysfunctional ways, my pain. I wanted it to stop so badly. And I did nothing to change it because I was waiting, waiting for something to happen, someone to help me. And, um, unfortunately, that's usually not how it goes. We're born into this world alone, and we, we move on to our next lives alone as well. And so, your ultimate love, your ultimate, ultimate acceptance of yourself has to come from within you. You make the choice. Recovery is a choice. Self-love is a choice. Acceptance of yourself and your body as it is, is a choice. I also understand self-esteem and life circumstances. And there's a million things to take into account. I get it, honey. I do. I get it. <laughs> what it comes down to, though, is you making the right choices for you. I don't want to worry about you, baby. But I do. I can't help it because I love you. And I want you to worry about you, too. I want you to wake up every day and know that you deserve to be here. And you deserve the love that I give you. You deserve these sit-down conversations where I say, Hey, I'm concerned. I care for you. Let me help you. <laughs> Come here. <clears throat> I haven't hugged you yet today. It's not too tight, right? <laughs> you are so lovable. Please put yourself first. Take care of yourself. Look at me. You are enough. You're enough for me. You're enough for you. You're enough for everyone. You don't owe this crazy fucking world a damn thing. <laughs> you don't owe anybody but you. You owe yourself respect and love. The rest is a bonus. Why don't we make a nice meal together? I'll pick out some good food can cook it together, put on some tunes, get some nutrition in that bod of yours, 
No, McDonald's does not count. <laughs> well, you know me right now. Going off soda, that's challenging. <laughs> you know, maybe after we'd smoke a blunt together. Eat our harvest of our cooking escapades. And give you cuddles. That's one of the little joys in life, eh? The times that I'm not here. And I can't give you this encouragement. And I can't snuggle you myself and you feel completely alone. You are never alone within yourself. You are safe in your shell. Take care of the little you that's within you. That little girl, that little boy, that little person. You take care of them the way that you needed to be taken care of. Because they're still in there. I know. I know you're right. I do have that, that motherly instinct in me and it's very strong. But what it comes down to is even if you don't have that it's not selfish to love yourself, right, baby? No, it's not selfish. And you're a good person. Say it to me. <laughs> oh, don't get all shy on me now. Come on. You've bared all before. Nothing to hide. <laughs> Just say it. Say, I'm a good person. I deserve to be loved. I deserve to be safe. I deserve to be healthy. You can take all the shit that this world throws at you. All of it. Your soul wrote this script before you came here to this life. And your soul will write the script to your next life. And you're learning the lessons you're meant to learn. And things are unfolding as they should. That includes our conversation right now. If you're looking for a sign, here's your sign. You deserve to be here. You made the choice to come here to Earth. And here you are. Thank God I found you. Out of 7 billion plus people, you found me and are listening to me right now. There's a reason you're hearing these words that I'm saying. Because if you're not going to listen to anyone else in your life, for the love of life, listen to me. You deserve to be here. You are worthy enough to be here. You are worthy of self-care and self-love. You're worthy of relationships, if that's what you want friendships, healthy family relationships, if you can, you know, make that work in your situation. You deserve everything you've ever wanted. <laughs> hey. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that. Of course, baby, you're welcome. You're right. I'll do my best to try not to worry. Just, I promise I'll do my best not to worry. If you promise to do your best to take care of yourself. To take care of your mental health and your physical health. If something hurts, if something feels bad, that's your psyche telling you, hey, something's up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you hungry?
darling. Yeah. What do you want to cook? <laughs> no, we're not. No french fries. <laughs> we're going to pick real food. Okay, yes, potatoes are real food. But I mean, a, a better food. What about like chicken Caesar salad? We can make some garlic bread. We could even do spaghetti if you want. With those on the side. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be good too. Put on some, some music. We could listen to Halsey. Oh yeah, baby. You know I get down to some Halsey. <laughs> Before we eat, I'll roll up and we can go out and smoke together. And we can cuddle up, eat. Enjoy each other's presence. Exchange energy. Good energy. You're so perfect and I love you. Come on, baby, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Don't start with me. Come on. <laughs>